Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all the updates. Right, except for today's video, the beer is, well, the box is courtesy of Pariah. I shouldn't assume that there's beer in here, but based on prior boxes they've sent, this will have beer in it. <laughs> so let's get into it. Uh, thanks, Pariah. I obviously really appreciate it. Um, I follow them on social media, and so should you. And um, uh, they've been releasing some cool sounding stuff. So I don't know what's in here, but uh, I'm super stoked. They're the ones uh, who moved from San Diego to Maryland, uh, and I, I, I want to get down there. I don't know if it's going to happen this summer or not. Um, as I've said before in some of these unboxings, my, a good friend of my wife lives down that way. They have young kids. I think we're kind of just waiting until they get a little bit older, so it'll be less of a burden to come and visit. But man, I really want to get down there. But yeah, let's get into it. Looks like maybe four things in my quick look. Char, yo, okay, I, <laughs> I really wanted to try this one, <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty giddy right now. Uh, you know, if you watch this channel, you know there's a lot of kinds of beer I like. You know what I mostly gravitate towards though. So American Strong Ale aged in rye whiskey barrels coming at 12.7 percent ABV. I mean. It, it, the grin on my face says it all. Hi, Bruno. Does Daddy sound happy? Yeah, it's because he is. Uh, yeah, that's that. I, yeah, that one sounded really awesome. If I remember correctly, it's their first barrel aged beer, uh, or that, or is it the first that they released in cans? Maybe they did some barrel aging like tap room exclusives or something. But I think this is the first one that they have put out uh, into um, you know cans. I've got an idea. Hazy IPA. Cool can art. They always have good can art, though. I mean, it's always, yeah. 6.5%. Uh, uh, same thing. I'll, I'll read. I'll, I'll save the, re yeah, I'll save the the reading for the review. Man, I do. I just, I love that. I love that. And it's got this, the, the wrap on them, too. It's just kind of like, um, uh, not textually, um, tactic, t tassel, whatever the word is. I can't think right now. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Um. It just has like a nice feel to it. All right, what is this? Erotic? Is it GTU? Oh, City. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> this one I don't remember seeing online. Hybrid Ale. This one I have to read this side. What's it? What, what do you mean by hybrid ale? It's 9% though. I see that. Holy cow. Um, yeah, I don't. I kind of. The chain, maybe. I, yeah, anyway. Hybrid Ale. Uh, Warrior Holdings, our beloved beer, wine, mead hybrid. Oh, cool. Uh, Erotic City. This was one of our first ever recipes and offering it in Kansas something special. Featuring orange blossom honey and musket grapes in addition to barley, it is both sweet yet dry and just the slightest bit, bit acidic. We admire those who blend and weave between styles and inspirations in their art, and this beer represents exactly that for us. That is rad. That's really cool. I was wondering if maybe these were going to be um, two of each. But, oh, speaking of which, yo, two char? Come on. Come on. <laughs> like, that's not like, uh, I guess I can age one for a year and then compare them or something. Oh, man, that's wild. That is wild. <laughs> I mean, for, I'm going to assume people watching this watch the whole video. Um, so you saw my delight when I saw that. I had one can of this, um, so you can imagine my delight is seeing a second can. Um, we're starting to get a little bit of pariah around me. I saw, what was it, Colors, for example, and um, I don't know, you know, when it's barrel aged, I, my assumption is there's not a lot of qual uh, quantity of it, so I wasn't expecting to ever see this by me, um, but it would, you know, it is kind of cool to see some of these beers, uh, you know, now they're on the East Coast, hitting the East Coast a little bit. So yeah, super stoked on this. Um, have you guys had any of these? Have you had anything from Pariah? Um, you drink something else you just want to tell me about? You know, uh, another cool brewery in the uh, Baltimore area? Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going once you're done doing that. Make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews at both those places. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. And most importantly, thank you again, Pariah. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.